TJ, give me some fantasy right now. I got to get out this headspace. All right, Mikey. There we go. I hey. like that. I'm the only one who does a segment on the show and has no intro, no opening, no graphics. I won't take it personally, though. Anyway, we're here for Fantasy Talk, and I'm going to try to get you guys ready for some fantasy football in week four. And I'm going to start that off by telling you, Chris, Mike, Susie, and I know everyone out here who's watching, I'm going to tell you who's him. You know who I think is him this week, Chris? What we got, TJ? This might sound a little bit crazy. Uh Uh-oh. I think Justin Fields might be him this week. What? Listen to me. The Bears have lost 13 straight games, right? That's an unlucky number. so bad. At some point, that's got to stop, right? Is it? Right? I mean, at some point. Look, the Broncos have allowed the most fantasy points to opposing QBs this season. Okay. Jimmy G had 19. Sam Howe had tw- Sam Howe had 25. Tua had 36. Yeah, he did. They've all scored at least two touchdowns against Denver. The Broncos only have four sacks and one pick in three games. That's it. Just four. And they're playing back-to-back road games after just getting the bleep kicked out uh-huh. of them last week. Yep. Also, Justin Fields, he averages nearly 24 fantasy points per game at home. So maybe being back in Chicago with the bean and the thought of Pequod's pizza, it'll help him, you know, play a little bit better. Also, Dalton Kincaid, that was for Hoskins. Tight end for the Bills. I think this might be his week to score a touchdown because the Dolphins have allowed three Three tight ends to score at least eight fantasy points this week or this year. So Dalton Kincaid, he might be him, not him. Susie, I'm gonna have to piggyback off of what the football. I'm gonna have to use this again. Garrett Wilson of the Jets. Look, yeah. I, I love Garrett Wilson. Mm-hmm. I think he's great. His talent's off the hook. But like I said on what the football, Chris, until he's able to pull a Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning in the famous video with Steve Jordan where he throws a 50-yard pass, <laughs> runs, and then catches it himself, until he's able to do that, I just don't think he has any fantasy viability right now because the Jets quarterbacks are in the sh- shambles. So yep. unfortunately, Garrett Wilson, he's just not him this week. Also, this might surprise surprise you Dak Prescott is also not him Ooh. this week you know the Pats have yet to allow a quarterback to throw for over 250 yards they held down Jalen Hurts they held down Tua the Cowboys have issues in the red zone scoring and let me tell you what's not good for that is seeing a guy cross the field in a hood and cut off sleeves yep. because he's going to stop you so unfortunately tell you there, man. Dak is not him this week in fantasy and you know who might be him they say revenge is a dish best served cold. And once this team released him in March, I think the, the mill has gotten a little room temperature. Adam Thielen might be him. Look, he has 18 catches for 199 yards and two touchdowns. Scored at least 20 points per game in his last three games. And he's going against his ex-team. So Adam Thielen, take a shot. He could be him. Our fantasy football update sponsored by Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community. Must be present in certain states. Visit prizepicks.com for restrictions and details. Nicely done, TJ. Thank you so much for that. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.